historian of Aleppo Shriners in Wilmington, Mass. I've been historian now for about uh, four or five years. I'm only the second known in our history, and uh, I've been very fortunate to have a lot of support there. And we built the Aleppo Archives and Museum from scratch. Uh, today, I'm fortunate to bring you a very interesting piece from our history. Uh, this is a white fez. This was worn by an early uh, ladies auxiliary to the shrine, formed in the 1890s, known as the Daughters of Isis. Uh, originally, this was a, it wasn't a very regulated group. So it started in Mecca Temple in New York, uh, as the entire shrine did, and grew across the country. <clears throat> they didn't have very standard regalia, so early on you see different, different fezes with different designs on them, as you did across most of the shrine. Um, by the early 1900s, you saw mostly white fezes with red embroidery. Sometimes the shrine symbol would be added, though in Aleppo, you it wasn't common to have that. By the 1930s, the, um, the organization had become treated as more of a internal unit sometimes in some of the temples. They marched in parades, particip participated in ceremonials, and the Imperial Council, which governs the shrine, didn't like that setup. So by the 1930s, they disbanded the entire organization, and it was eventually replaced by the uh, Daughters of the Nile and the Ladies Oriental Shrine of North America, which we have today. The Prince Hall Shriners, the ancient Egyptian Arabic order of the nobles of the Mystic Shrine, does have an auxiliary called the Daughters of the Isis, but they are not connected. Now, <clears throat> people like to make general statements about fezes, but really before World War II, before the, the standardization of fezes, it's very hard to make generalizations. Uh, you had so many different uh, local manufacturers and there wasn't any national regulations on the style and makeup of the fez. So while in Aleppo, white fezes were only worn by the Aleppo chapter of the Daughters of, of Isis, in other shrines, white fezes and other colored fezes were worn by nobles. Sometimes you had the officers of the units, Sometimes you had entire patrols who would have a white summer uniform, um, but that was never the case in Aleppo. So most often when you see a white fez with uh, red embroidery and often there'll be a red tassel, which this one is missing, um, that will be from the uh, local chapter of the Daughters of, the Is of Isis. But it's really, in, in the case with early fezes and any early regalia, it really helps to go through and find the photographic evidence to back that up. And that's how we've been able to, to determine with Aleppo um, what white fezes were used for in our specific case, because we have found a number of those photos from different eras uh, showing those in use. So we're uh, very glad to have that in our collection. This was donated by uh, Keith McKinnon, who's been a great benefactor of ours from um, the Cambridge Masonic Temple. Thank you, Keith.